Hello, friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Return to Dark Castle. Now that we've got the shield, fireball, stone ball, and crossbow, there's several more areas opened up to us. So I am going to go and finish off one of the paths over here. Partly I want to show off that now that I've gotten the crossbow the first time, if I ever lose it and need to get it back, it's right over here in the armory. I can also use the crossbow to easily dispatch a lot of these hench enemies. Slightly faster than using the mace type weapons. Guards still get fireballed though. Ah, yes, I just remembered. I can also use the crossbow to take that guy out from all the way across the room. Makes this room a little bit easier. Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you for not killing me. Okay, we've done the wine cellar. Avoid that rat. Toast that one. I didn't really need to do that. But you might not have noticed, I can also go through this side of the room. I want to come over here so I can grab a few extra rocks and remember what this switch does. Okay, so that would also take care of the uh, barrel thrower. Get away from me, rat. Ah, I wanted to save myself a rock and I spent two elixirs on the rat instead. Anyway, the castle also has a garden. It is not the friendliest place, being infested with snakes and mosquitoes and stuff. You'd be amazed at what a good merlin can do. Sure, but first I have to figure out what a merlin is. Spoiler, I know exactly what that note is referring to. Sneak. Yeah, I have to go back and forth a bit on these vines and try to avoid mosquitoes while I do it. Okay, so I can climb down here. some food. The snake has mysteriously vanished. Avoiding mosquitoes can be such a pain sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently in this world with 
fireballs and stone enchantments. Bryant hasn't figured out bug spray. First try. And now we enter the conservatory, which is full of horrifying bugs. Anyway, I like to come here after getting the shield. Which doesn't help when falling into the slime, unfortunately. Without the shield, I can also duck under these plants, but they will give me a dose of poison gas. Uh, somewhat more successful. If I don't make it to the orb here, I might just have to go back to one of the easier zones. just makes it that much easier to react to everything happening on screen quickly. Oh no. Oh no, the fruit bowl's gone. Could have gone better. That could have gone a lot better. Yeah, th the conservatory is a bit of a challenge. I might come back here later. Well, after that nonsense. I feel like, uh, taking a slightly easier path now. So, who remembers classic fireball? Kind of funny to be taking out these vultures with a fireball on the path to fireball. Just really not feeling at the top of my game tonight. Anyway, here we can actually follow up on a clue from the previous episode. The caves have two entrances. This bottom one never led anywhere in the Sorry, concentration broken by birds. So, this bottom cave entrance was purely decorative in the original game. But now it leads to Graffiti Cave. Complete with Flaming Eyeball. But you know what's really good for taking out Flaming Eyeballs? A nice stone ball. We've got messages like, Zack Black was here. See Sculpt Rules, 2008. So was Zack Morris. Oh! 
Uh, apparently that kills me. Right, I think I have to time that jump just a little bit short. And also not get my head cracked open by stalactites. And not fall into one of the dungeons again would be preferable. Welcome to the Dark Castle experience, everybody! So, very much restarting. Yes, I'll take some extra rocks, thank you. There we go. To the dungeon with you! There we go. Stalactites taken care of. Not quite far enough. could just go on the normal fireball path, but no, I want the secret treasure. Yeah, without the eyeball shooting fire at me, this screen is somewhat easier. Oh, hi. Get wrecked. Max rule! You're right, they do. Bonked his head on the ceiling. Hooray! Another 1% completion! And back to the anteroom we go. But I still want that easier... easier orb. So, let's see just how much I can wreck original flavor Dark Castle with all the fun toys I've collected. Of course, most of those fun toys don't actually help when it comes to surviving long falls and or falling into the water. Which indeed is water in this one, and not orange tang and or lava. Now there is an artifact that actually does help protect from being killed by falling stalactites, but that's a secret.
The screen's a bit easier when one already has the shield. Ah, mistimed it. Oh, hey, I'm not dead, I'm just in the dungeon! <laughs> also, Duncan was here! Duncan was here many, many times. Huh. Well, while I'm down here... We got a note a while ago that said, Gaming can get you out of trouble. Now, I don't know what, uh... The dungeon has to do with gaming, but there is a surprisingly obvious exit from trouble right over here. Voila, the game room. Yeah, and since I have the crossbow, I can actually get the orb from here. Also, there's a games machine. Hee! <laughs> we can play Space Invaders! And also get horribly murdered. I might come back to Space Invaders later. For now, I just want more orbs. Ah, darn it. Okay, possibly I deserve that one. Significantly less dead, I'll take it. last long enough. Awesome. One target. Two target. Oh, it's a, another series of three things I have to hit. to avoid getting zapped by the lasers. There we go, easy. A 
Looks like I can just stroll back on out through the dungeon. See if there's any other fun hacks I can pull off. Like, for example, crossbowing the whip dude. Yeah, I think the rest of the levels are pretty much the same, just in color. Easy, I said. Should be easy. This is a good chance to stock up on rocks. trouble all taken care of. So let's go deposit this orb, shall we? Since this is from one of the classic levels, I like keeping those in the library. All right. We have succeeded in getting one orb and also one golden treasure. So I'm going to end it here for the night and see you all next time. Have a good one, everybody.